Hi there! So here is the newly launched 43 inch 4K Acer Android TV. It packs in everything you need with the right pricing. The latest Android TV OS, slim bezel-less design, all the OTT apps you need, 30 watt sound output, 2-way Bluetooth, Google Voice Assistant and it's priced at just 27,999. Now find that really competitive considering most 43 inch 4K Android TVs are touching that 30K segment. So let's quickly unbox it, have a closer look, see the build, see the design, the performance and most importantly the experience. But before we begin subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you never miss an update. Also follow me on my social media handles, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. The handle name is Mr. Tech Singh. Let's begin. So here is the retail packaging of the Acer 4K TV. Experience boundless, written in bold. It comes with dual band Wi-Fi, 30 watt high fidelity speakers, frameless design. On the side are the manufacturing details along with the MRP of 34,990. Let's open it up. So here's everything that you get inside the box. This is the paperwork with the warranty card and user manual. Then this is a wall mount bracket. There's a power cord cable. There's an AV composite adapter for setup boxes that lack an HDMI port. Then you have two plastic stands, screws to mount those stands. Then you have two AAA batteries, obviously for the remote. And finally, the Acer TV remote. Now this is a really unique remote, firstly for its design. It's got this nice curve to it, which makes it even more ergonomic to hold in the hand. Then this D-pad has this nice silver chrome finish to it, kind of really stands out. Now this is a Bluetooth remote, very very light and comfortable and easy to use. You can spot the power button, home button, the D-pad to navigate, settings button, back button, volume up and down button, the Google Assistant button, Netflix, Prime Videos, YouTube, Disney Hotstar, these are the hotkeys, Acer branding, really really nice and convenient. So we have fixed the stands and table mounted the TV. First thing you notice is the super sleek design. The bezels on the three sides are very slim. It's very well built with clean edges. The bottom bezel is a little thick with the Acer branding in the center. Here are the dimensions of the TV, 38 inches in length and 23 inches in height. It will be helpful if you have limited space. Then the back is made of plastic and is very well built. The power input is towards the right, while all the other ports are towards the left making it easier to access even if the TV is wall mounted. Starting from the top, USB 2.0, USB 3.0, LAN antenna, optical, 3 HDMI ports, 3.5mm headphone jack and mini AV input. I'm so glad to see two separate USB ports and above that one port is USB 3.0. It's just perfect. Then HDMI 1 port supports eARC so you can connect it to your soundbar or home theater system for digital audio output. Let's have a quick look at the specifications. So we have a 4K VA panel with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels. The TV comes with 2GB RAM with 16GB internal storage, dual band Wi-Fi and two-way Bluetooth support, 30 watt sound output with Dolby Audio, and it's running the Android TV 11 OS. So as we boot up the TV, we can see the Acer logo followed by the Android TV animation. Follow the setup process, it's fairly simple. Once we are set up, you see the new Android TV homepage. It looks so similar to the Google TV OS. Full screen carousel of content looks stunning on this 4K display. Here are the apps that come pre-installed. Further below are the content rows from multiple OTT apps. Overall, the user experience is quite fluid. Then in settings, under the about section, you can see the TV is running the Android TV 11 OS. Coming to the app section, we get Netflix app pre-installed. We get the Fastcast app. On the first tab, you can see the Chromecast compatible apps. So you can simply cast content from these apps on the Acer TV. For the iPhone sharing, where you can use Apple AirPlay and mirror the screen. It's a little laggy, but pretty much does the job. Further, you can cast local content from your Android phones. You can also mirror Windows PC. And finally, Hotspot. Then we also have the two-way Bluetooth app. And we get two options in here. First is receiver mode, where you can pair your favorite pair of Bluetooth headphones or earphones and listen to the audio wirelessly. Second is smartphone to TV, where it basically pairs your phone's Bluetooth to the TV and plays music on your TV speakers. Trust me, the audio sounds really good. Best part is you can even turn off the screen to save power. Now you can use your TV speakers as a Bluetooth speaker to enjoy your favorite music.
All right, let's move to the display. So we are streaming a 4K HDR video from YouTube and it looks really, really good. The colors are really impressive, vibrant and punchy. 4K video clarity is really brilliant, so crisp and sharp, making use of every pixel on this display. It also gets really bright and what better way to test that than watching HDR videos. Now since this is a VA panel, we do see a slight shift in color and tones when viewed from an angle. However, it's not as noticeable unless you look closely. The black levels too are quite good. Check out this demo video. You'll see the contrast, super bright whites and deep blacks in one frame. Very impressive. Then we also played some 4K videos from our pen drive on the default media player and they worked perfectly fine. We tested MP4, we tested MKV, all these file formats played without any hiccups. Then you can also download over 7000 apps and games from the Play Store. Going all the way down in the entertainment section, you'll be able to find all the popular OTT apps, Z5, Apple TV, Woot, Sony Live. Then in the Games tab, you'll find a huge collection of games that are compatible with Android TVs. However, some of these games might need a gamepad. Then we also tested some OTT apps, starting with Netflix. Now the app interface is smooth and really really well optimized. Now if you have the Netflix Ultra 4K plan, you can watch a lot of 4K content here as well. The TV also supports HDR and you can spot the logo on some of the titles. Movies look absolutely amazing on this Acer TV. It's bright, it's clear and very colorful. Now remember, this TV doesn't support Dolby Vision. However, I don't see this as a deal breaker considering the experience I'm getting here. Then we also played one of our own videos on YouTube. 4K videos work perfectly fine and looked really good as well. Now this Acer TV has this really unique feature. As you adjust the volume, you can actually even switch to different sound profiles without going into the settings. Now by default, you can see it's set to standard. You can switch to sports, you can switch to movies, you can switch to music and you can switch to news. I think this is a really smart idea. Now the TV comes with 30 watt sound output with Dolby audio support. Time for a quick demo. Everybody knows that I'm breaking down. Everybody knows I ain't faking now. Everybody knows my heart's faking now. Yeah, she hates me now. I made mistakes, but now I don't ever want to be alone. I don't really ever feel at home. On my own, in the zone. That's the only way I know. Feeling low, about to blow back up. I will never let the doubt creep in. Wow, I have to admit, the audio experience surpassed way beyond my expectations. It's loud, it's clear, it's even got a decent amount of bass. It will also give you that surround sound effect which will give you that premium feel. In the audio department, the Acer TV nails it. Now before I conclude, let's talk about the flip side. So there's no Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos support. And personally if you ask me, I don't look at that as a deal breaker considering the price. Now this Acer TV takes almost everything you could ask for in an Android smart TV. It gives you access to all your favorite apps and games from the Play Store. It's got a really good viewing experience, excellent sound experience and priced at just $27,999. I think it's a stellar deal. By the way, there's also a 50 inch for $32,999 and 55 inch for just $37,999. Now these are just introductory prices. Make sure you grab them right away. I'll leave the links for all in the description. If you'd like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them all. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.